Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display your product variations easily and neatly in a grid format like this, using the WooCommerce Bulk Variations plugin from Barn2. Out of the box, variations in WooCommerce are displayed as drop-down menus like this, which can quickly get a bit cumbersome and unwieldy. If you imagine a wholesale customer having to choose each product variation with multiple drop-downs, it's not ideal. It's slow and laborious. Whereas, with the Barn2 Bulk Variations plugin, it's much simpler to identify the product you need with a grid display like this. And you just add a quantity like so, and it's automatically already in the cart. But that's not all. As well as displaying variations, the WooCommerce Bulk Variations plugin makes it much quicker and easier for store owners to manage and edit bulk variations in the WordPress admin. And we'll see that later in the video. So let's install the plugin and take a look at how to set it up. Just go to the admin in WordPress, to plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose the zip file of the plugin you downloaded, and once uploaded, activate and click on settings. Here, just enter your license key, activate, and we're good to go. So in the settings here, we have a few options to consider. In the grid options, we can choose to use a variation grid for all products with one or two variation attributes. So with this ticked, any product you have with variations with one or two attributes, for example, the size and color of a hoodie, will automatically be displayed in a grid layout. However, you can override these global settings for individual products just by editing the individual product. Here, we can choose to create a grid display for all products which have three or more variation attributes. And here, we can use the grid as a neat price matrix by removing the quantity and add to cart options. We can also display stock information on the grid too. And we can hide the prices if all the variations have the same price. Here we can govern how images are displayed on the grid, vertically, horizontally, or not at all. And under default attributes, we can decide which two attributes will be the main horizontal and vertical headers of the grid. So for a hoodie, we might have size across the horizontal, and color up and down vertically. Any other attributes we add will be available within the grid in drop-down boxes. And if you have just a single attribute in variations, we can display this vertically or horizontally here. And I just need to save my changes for them to take effect. Okay, so let's go to one of my products. This one is a hoodie, and this is one I want to display as a variation grid. So I'm going to edit the product, and you can see here, this is a variable product, and I have two attributes, size and color, and then variations of those, three different colors and four sizes. Now, because we've installed the bulk variations plugin, we now have a new bulk variation options menu item here, but we also have more options on our variations tab too. The gray section here allows us to filter our variations. So I could select, say, all my blue hoodies. And then to that selection, I can apply any one of the bulk options in the drop-down menu here. So I can set prices, increase prices, decrease prices, set stock values, and even change the thumbnail image for each variation in the filter. So to select a blue hoodie image for all these blue hoodies, I'll press Go and then choose my image, and there, all the blue hoodies now have the right image. And if I refresh my product page, there, that's all done. And I can do the same for the green hoodies. So under variations, I'll filter just my green ones, go to the drop down action list and set thumbnail, choose my green hoodie image, and that's those done. It's really quick, really easy. And if we come back to the product page and refresh, there, the images are all done. Now you're not restricted to two attributes either. You can add more attributes with variations and they'll appear on the grid as drop-down boxes. 
Remember, in the settings, you can choose which two attributes are the default ones for the X and Y columns of your grid. So I could add one more attribute to my grid, go to Attributes, and then Add, and I'll add a logo option, and the variations just simply Yes and No. And I'm going to tick Used for Variations, and then Save. And then let's say I want to charge 10% extra for having a logo. Then I can filter my variations to logo yes, like this. Then in my options drop down here, I'll add a price increase. Hit go, and I'll make it a 10% increase. Update my product. And then if we go to the product page, refresh, and there, there's my new logo attribute in each cell as a drop down box. And if I select logo here, then it adds in the 10% and adds it to the cart. You can also add a variation grid to any part of your website using a shortcode. You'll find details of how to do this in the full written tutorial. And a link to that document is in the description below, as well as a link to download the plugin. So that's been a look at the WooCommerce Bulk Variations plugin from Barn2 the simple way to display easy-to-use grid layouts for your product variations. Thanks for watching.